Family, friends, and co-workers of slain Port Arthur firefighter Willie Ryman plan to be in Huntsville this coming Wednesday for the execution of his killer. Elroy Chester is scheduled to die in the Texas Execution Chamber June 12th, two days shy of his 44th birthday. Chester, Chester pleaded guilty to killing the firefighter 15 years ago after a six-month crime spree. Tom Wright reports the firefighter's memory lives on in the city he served. Here at Port Arthur's Fire Station Number 1, firefighters go about the business of being prepared for an emergency. Some of them too young to have known Willie Ryman III. Bring it back up and it, uh, it start, maybe gets a little hard to talk about. Battalion Chief Patrick Murphy not only worked with Willie Ryman, he grew up in the same Port Arthur neighborhood with him. He was a great guy. Everybody knows this, you know, around the town knows the story of Willie and how much of a good guy he was. And, you know, he'd do, if you had a project going, he was there to help you. If you had a party going, he was there to party with you. Murphy will join a group of firefighters and police officers who will attend the execution of this man, Elroy Chester. In a six month period from August 1997, to February of 1998, Chester went on a crime spree, committing five murders, five attempted murders, three sexual assaults, and two dozen burglaries. The last person he shot to death was the off-duty Port Arthur firefighter who stopped by his sister's house to check on his nieces. What he didn't know was they were under attack and Elroy Chester was waiting. Now the state of Texas will punish Elroy Chester by taking his life. He claimed and changed so many lives. Not just the firefighters' families' lives, his, the other people's lives that he, he took. Uh, he, has, he has no purpose. There's no purpose on earth. It's been 15 years since Willie Ryman rode the trucks in service of this city, but there are reminders. The memorial in Station 1. Ryman's logo on the truck at his old station, number five, and his original artwork still on the blackboard. You just try to uh, move forward and put things in perspective. Uh, he's missed. He's, uh, he'll always be missed, you know, as long as, you know, somebody's on, still alive to talk about him, he's going to be missed. In Port Arthur, Tom Wright, KFDM 6 News.